welcome to the vlog it's in the middle of what i ate in a day i just finished filming like the part for that video the taste test part <laughs> mm. way to start a video right it's so hot <laughs> i made this coconut curry ramen for what I ate in a day, which you guys will already have seen by now. So if you want the recipe and you don't watch my what I ate in a day videos, you can see it there. I'll link it. But today is cleaning day because I work during the week and our new um, addition to the team starts tomorrow. So I'm going to be training him all week. Um, and then the boy comes on Wednesday, so that means I'm not going to have time to clean during the week because I'm going to be at work. I can't skip out early when I'm training someone. Oof. So I'm going to clean today. But I went to TJ Maxx, and I hit the Anastasia Beverly Hills freaking jackpot. Mmm. Broccoli. So good. Mmm. Mmm. I love broccoli. It's delicious. Mmm. This is so good. I'm sorry. I'm hungry, but I also want to vlog. It's like, it's a thing. Mm hmm So I got a few new towels, a new bath mat, and um, I got so much stuff from Anastasia. It's all vegan, obviously, and it was all like, you know how much their lipsticks are, think, I think 20 or $22 on sale for $6.99. I got a lip palette. I got a new contour kit because mine's like on the brink of like not being good anymore. Because powders do expire. And I think mine's, it's fine, we're casual. I think mine's on the brink of expiring. And I got the deeper one than I have. So I'll show you all of that stuff in like a holly thing in a second. I'm just eating my lunch. This is so freaking good. Mm. Anyways. Onion. Anyone else just love onions? And broccoli as much as I do. This stuff is so good. I don't know why I've never made this before. But it's like the shit. So neighborhood update. My neighbor no longer has her chickens. Because her son's dog ate one of their butts off. And that just really makes me sad. That she wasn't watching after her chickens. And that one of them got hurt. I mean I know that accidents happen. But... She said it was her fault because she left the gate open. But anyways, I just thought of that because across the street, somebody's gate is open. So it made me remember that Oopsie Daisy are no longer my neighbors because my neighbor let one of them get hurt. But I'm going to do a TJ Maxx haul of the stuff that I got um, so that I can actually get to like cleaning. My room's dirty. I need to take off these sheets because they smell like like icy hot or something because I've been hurt and um, I got a bath mat because I needed a new one I haven't gotten one since I moved in so it's been about time I got some new towels um, these are just some nice blue towels from TJ Maxx they're super soft I got three of them because it's been a while since I bought towels and these match some of my existing towels so they don't have to match exactly but I thought it would be nice for them to be kind of close. And then what else did I get in this bag? I just put them in my Target bag. I got some more washcloths because I'm getting low on them or either they're super bleach from like my face stuff. And they have a little birdie on them. How cute. So I got these noodles because I'll get like K-cups and stuff randomly at TJ Maxx too because they have like a food section. Um, but I saw these noodles and look at them. It's so cool. So they're like 
calamari noodles is what they call them. I thought they would be good in like soups and things. And they're kind of thick. They're like plus size, you know. So they'll hold up to a broth without getting mushy. So I got those. I got another shower liner. I like these cloth shower liners instead of the like pea... I guess it's PVC or whatever they call it, the um, plastic kind of one. So this is the Soft Touch Microfiber. So I got one of those because it's time to kind of change that out. And then I got a bunch of stuff from Anastasia, like so much stuff. Okay, I'm trying to get all the lip stuff out of here. So these are all $6.99 versus what they typically cost. So... I got this many lippies, so I got a liquid lipstick in the color Catnip, I got another liquid lipstick in the color Craft, another liquid lipstick in the color, uh, I thought it was Sapphire for a second, but it's Seraphine, and then I got um, a lip gloss in the color Barbie Pink, which looks like that, and then I got is this lipstick or gloss a lipstick in the color vamp and then a lipstick in the color sad girl which is like a metallic one so i got all of those they're all 6.99 versus like the full price which i was really excited about and then i also got because mine like i said it's coming up on its expiration and i'm like almost out of a lot of the colors i got another contour kit this one is in the tan to deep the one I have now is a medium to tan, so this is the one color darker of it, which I feel like I can do either one. I'm like in between, but um, they have the cream contour too, but I'm not really into big into cream contour, so I got this. And then I got the lip palette. They have the lip palettes there. They're $24.99, which I think they're originally like $40. Same with these, they're 40 and this was $18.99. So pretty good price and this you can like mix them. I saw um, Alyssa Ashley do the lip swatches on this last year and I thought the lip swatches looked amazing. But I wasn't going to pay $40 or $50 or how much it was um, when I'm not a huge lip palette girl. But now that I've cleaned out all of my lipsticks and got rid of everything that isn't vegan, um... It took me a few years to do that. <laughs> I've gotten rid of everything that isn't like fully vegan minus a few lipsticks from Bite Beauty. Um, I thought I'd invest in some cream lipsticks and this gives you more liberty because you can like mix and match. And then last but not least, I did get some candles but they're in my office. I'll show you them later. I got these two drawers for organizing. So right now you guys know what my makeup storage looks like. And everything's just kind of out in the open. <sighs> Ellie hair. I'm kind of over that whole thing. I just want my makeup to be like put away and for my desk to look really clean. Because now the way that it is at the end of every time I do my makeup it ends up being a like giant disaster. And like overflowing onto my work desk. So I just want everything to be like condensed, put away. Obviously my palettes aren't going to fit in here. So I'm still looking for something for like palette storage. Um, but this is what I have right now. So I'm going to get cleaning. I think my desk will be the last thing that I do. First things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> I'm going to pick up all my clothes off the floor because you guys know how I live. And all of the clothes are going to go into dry cleaning bags so that I can take them into work tomorrow. And then um, from there, I'll put away the clean clothes and put the dirty clothes in the hamper. Um, and then I'm going to clean the bathroom and then I will organize my desk. This is what they all look like for my fellow makeup lovers. So you can see contour kit still has the plastic on it but this is the deeper palette and I do like that they're really warm because I do like warm contour even though people tell me all the time that it doesn't match me but I just really like warm colors for my contour and then this is the lip palette let's take the plastic
All right, this is the finished product. It's not completely organized yet, so I'll have to finish that. So all of my lipsticks, um, all of like my pressed powders for the most part, foundations. This is pigments, a random palette, and a random setting powder. I do still have all of my MAC pigments from, you know, pre-vegan days. Um, pencils, brow pencils, lip pencils and primers, liquid highlighters, and concealers. Yeah, that's it. My desk is back to looking like a desk. There's my microphone, um, my headphones, laptop. What's that thing you called? iPad, lint rollers because I live with the black lab, and yeah. And yeah, so good. All pretty again. I'm so happy. Now, if anyone has tips, on how to keep your house clean let me know because it'll be like this for like all of three days <laughs> before it's completely ruined this is my work outfit of the day <laughs> just kidding i look so crazy look at my house shoes so i actually have on this <laughs> victoria beckham dress under here i'm just um wearing this on top so i'm wearing this and um i have on like a long sleeve shirt under there so i'll have on my heels and it'll it'll look cute once i have on like my shoes and then not this jacket but i'm wearing my slippers to the car because the heels that i'm wearing are in the car but yeah that's my work outfit of the day victoria beckham dress and i do have on just like a plain long sleeve because this is short sleeve if you can see that and then i have on like just a black long sleeve under it and tight because it's super freaking cold but yeah, that's what I look like today. Crazy at the moment, but I'll look normal later. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I look pretty crazy because I just have foundation everywhere and no eyebrows or anything else. Um, but we're getting ready to go see Black Panther, me and the boy. And then tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to see it again with my family. So my parents and everybody. My Uncle Freeman was a like real life Black Panther. Um, and I know the movie's different, but my mom's really excited to see it. So we're going to go tomorrow and then I'm going today. So I'm gonna see it twice. But I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then I'll probably say hi, show you a OOTD before I go. But yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. Oh, and having coffee, of course. I'm using E-Mug of the Day. Let's see. This one. Ooh, we're both like golden, yes. So it's Sunday, and I'd typically be filming. I mean, clearly I'm filming, but I mean, I'd be filming like a regular video, but I'm working today, so I'm at Whole Foods, just grabbing uh, some stuff for lunch. I need a cart, actually, because I need to grab some things for work, like they are low on some things, too. So that's what I'm doing instead this morning. I got a breakfast taco. What does it have? I can't remember. So clearly guacamole. Oh, so beans, no, I didn't get beans. Potatoes, tofu scramble, pico, avocado. There we go. Yeah, potatoes, tofu, pico, avocado for breakfast. I'm home for like an hour before I have to run back over to the job. I'm getting ready to head back to work. I still don't have on makeup, but you know, we're just not going to talk about it. I got some stuff from Fashion Nova because people have been requesting like an honest review of Fashion Nova. So they sent over some stuff and I'm going to do a try on of that stuff when I get home. I also got um, one of the things from Universal Standards new workout line and... I got a new fitness contraption, but it doesn't come until tomorrow, so you'll see it in the next vlog. <laughs> so, I bought a thing. I'm not going to tell you what the thing is, and I'm not going to put it in the thumbnail. I'm just going to let you guess what this square box is. Any guesses? You'll see in a bit. I'm so happy. 
So <laughs> what I was doing was adjusting the firmness of the bounce. So you can do soft, medium, or firm bounce. If you're heavier, you definitely want to change it to firm bounce so that you don't sink to the ground unless you don't plan on jumping. If you just plan, plan on rebounding, which is just kind of like bouncing, you can um, leave it on soft or medium. But since I'm heavy and I jump, <laughs> I had to make it firm. But yeah, it was pretty easy to install. Um, I got the 49 inch I think it's the, let's see if it says, 570 Pro Rebounder. It is super cute, super nice. I'm going to play on it a little bit. And yeah, you guys know me. I love fitness contraptions. So I recently did a collaboration with Instagram account Do The Hot Pants, Dana. She's amazing and sweet. And um, I just really love her so she asked me to share my body story on her blog so i figured i would do a little bit of a reading to you i know that a lot of you guys have seen it and i wanted to share it on youtube as well but i'll link it down below if you want to read the full thing my body story is different from most. I didn't grow up being teased about my size or with a negative view on my body. I did, however, grow up incredibly sheltered. I am what I like to call it old fat. I didn't gain weight later in life. I've been fat since I was six years old. I remember vividly what <laughs> I remember vividly when I realized I was the F word. I had visited Texas for the summer and my sweet grandparents gave me all the snacks that my mother didn't. And I packed down 20 pounds that summer on a six-year-old. That's a lot of weight. When I returned to my mom, I knew something had changed by the look on her face. I spent the rest of the night with my ear pressed against the wall, hearing whispers of what happened. She was thin when she left. And what did you feed her? To my surprise, that was the last I heard of it. And my mother never spoke about my weight again. We went back to eating the way we always had. I went back to my normal activities. I stayed fat, but it meant nothing. I never saw myself as fat, to be completely honest. I still don't. I mean, I know I have fat. I did notice that um, there was a typo in here. So, um, there's a part where I say, um, but one day I looked in the mirror and saw a stranger. Not only did I not recognize myself, but I didn't feel like myself. Um, but the most important thing I learned that day was that I finally realized I was abusing my body to escape my mind and emotions. I actually had originally put, um, but the most important thing I learned that day was that I was feeling again. But then I think I must have erased it to put something else. But anyways, um, it's on dothehotpants.com. If you want to read it, you just go to the My Body Story um, little tab and you can read it yourself. Probably with way, way less like errors than me because apparently I can't read. <laughs> Good morning. I woke up with a really stuffy nose <laughs> because it's like allergy season and I sleep with my fans on. And I had gotten a humidifier just from like Bed Bath & Beyond a few weeks ago but it is not working at all. I got this amazing cool mist humidifier from Luma Comfort or New Air and I'm so excited to get it hooked up. My other one broke <laughs> and I had to throw it out. The little part that you twist where you put in the water broke and since this is cool mist you can put essential oils in it. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up it's a lot bigger. The other one I had, it only um, went for about two hours because it was so small. But this one has a 45 hour run time. Yes. Today is kind of an annoying day, even though I'm off. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm so beautiful. Um, the washer and dryer people are coming. The pest people are coming to do the exterior of the house and our kitchen. And so, they're coming at 11, 
washer and dryer people are coming between one and five so I'm trying to film all day so I'm gonna be interrupted multiple times I have a Fashion Nova haul try on thingy that I'm filming and then a really fun exciting video which you guys will see later this week oh I just opened it I wasn't expecting there to be a card inside let's see if I can open it with one hand this is what I'm talking about, the technology of their freaking products. Almost everything that I own by New Air has a remote. That that's that's a company after my heart. So this is her. She looks really cool. You could put the longer attachment on it too, which I'll show you. She can do outfit changes, you know. My kind of appliance can do outfit changes. So this is the short or medium nozzle. So this is the medium. And if you want her to be really extra, you can put the long. So it'll look like a really fabulous vase if you put it on the ground. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Look how cool. No button, it's all flat. If I want to turn it off, I can do it from my remote. I can turn it on. And I can adjust. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? Holy crap, I love that so much. It does a scale. And there you go. You can see that amazing cool mist flowing already. Ugh, I'm going to put a few eucalyptus drops into my tank and I'm so excited. If you want to try out any new air products, including the heater that I use every single day, the boy loves that heater too. He likes to put it in the bathroom with him. Um, the air fryer, any of that stuff, they do have a promotional code that you can use for 15% off, which is pretty great. Oh, look at my baby back there. 15% off, which is more than I think any company ever gives me um, other than like Thrive. So 15% off with the code EDEN, E-D-Y-N. I'll put it in the link down below to this humidifier. My heater if they still have it in stock and their air fryers but they have a lot of great products even like washers and stuff like small apartment size washer and dryers um ice makers you name it they have a ton of stuff it's all really great quality and super innovative you see it's all like flat and flat button display all of them have remotes i'm just amazed by this thing especially compared to that little cheapy one that i had bought at was it I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond, and it wasn't cheap, it was still like 30 something dollars, maybe close to $40, and it failed on me within like two weeks, but I'm loving this thing already, I'll give you guys updates in the future, but I did want to show you like a little unboxing, of course, with these kind of things that people send me, I'm not required to talk about it, I can if I want, but you guys know queen of nose issues so I did want to show you guys this if you're in the market for a cool mist humidifier I know the old hot air ones kind of steam up your room make it a little bit foggy so I wanted to show you the option that I chose to go with so yeah and thank you to new air for sending this over so I realized after filming that whole thing that uh I had a smudge on my lens the whole time but it's fine because we all know I'm not a real youtuber and I don't think we expect more than that from me. So, um, <laughs> that's just what it is. And, yeah, we're going to roll with it. We're as proud as we can be. <laughs> but I do want to show you guys my first swimsuit of the season before I sign out of this vlog. Because it's banging. I'm so obsessed with it. I showed it on Snapchat. So I'm going to show it here. Oh my gosh, my camera looks so much more clear now that I actually freaking uh, clean my lens. So last night I had moved my camera and I remember my finger going through like the little lens catcher thing. And I had some like shea butter on it. So it had like a shea butter smudge. I know, I know. I'm disappointed as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Let's go try in this bathing suit. This is her. How cute. First of all, how ballerina are we? Doesn't this just scream ballerina to you? I'm obsessed with this suit. It is from Just Fab, and it's $39.95, which is pretty good for a bathing suit, I would say. Um, 
If you're not signed up already, you can sign up. I don't have a referral link, I'm sorry. Maybe I do, I don't know. I'm sure that they're one of those companies that gives like everyone <laughs> a referral link. So, um, when you sign up, I think you get your first thing for like $14.99. Sometimes they do like $9.99. So, you could potentially get this suit for $9 if you really like it. And they sell it all the way from a size small to a size 3X. And I wanna show you the back really quick if I can figure that out. So that's basically how it should look, <laughs> like a crisscross, and then there's like two lines across the back. It's super cute. These are super stretchy and comfortable, like they're not constricting at all. I just have a weird roll that likes to eat things. And yeah, it's super cute. Pretty good coverage on the butt for you guys that don't like a lot of butt out. Um, but yeah, I like this suit. Super cute, yeah. Bikini season is almost amongst us. But I know I always talk about how much I hate bikinis. I mean, how much I hate one pieces. This year, there have been so many cute one pieces released already that I'm dead. Like, Ashley Graham released another monokini that I love. I really liked this. Well, okay. So I forgot to skip my month on Just Fab again. <laughs> So since I forgot to skip, I just picked something and they happen to have some swim out. And I really like the way that this looks. I think I'm gonna take it to California with me. And where else did I see some cute? Gabby Fresh has out some cute one pieces. There's just been, they've been slaying the one piece game this year. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready to film some other videos. This is like kind of a hodgepodge of videos. We did go and see Black Panther. Oh my gosh, that Marvel movie was so freaking good. I really liked it. And then the boy and I went to Yard House. Um, I really love Yard House. A lot of you guys asked how I can date someone who eats meat. So this is what we did. The first night, we had Chinese, because I could get tofu and vegetables, he could get whatever he wants. The second night, we had Blaze Pizza. You can build your own pizza, it's like personal size. Everyone gets to eat what they want, and it's no like, we have to go to this place. No, I don't want to go to this place, you know? Even though he wouldn't be like that anyways, but it, as an example. And then the last night we went to Yard House. Yard House has a whole Gardein menu. So I ordered Gardein, he ordered the Nashville hot chicken. So that's how we make it work, you know? And cooking at home too, like if you make tacos, just make yourself, make all the veggies and everything. You make veggie tacos and they can bring meat or put meat in their tacos or whatever, so. It's only as hard as you make it. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, but um, I am gonna go get this thing together and start filming some other videos. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, <laughs> but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly, and I hope you love yourselves even more. We'll talk really, really soon. Bye.